Hi, I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today we're sewing a raglan sleeve t-shirt which will fit most 11 inch fashion dolls like Barbie, Disney princesses, and Liv dolls. Before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free printable sewing pattern. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces you see here. Stitch one sleeve to the front as shown. stitch the other sleeve to the front as well and you can use needle and thread or a sewing machine. Now the front should look like this. Here it is from the other side what we call the wrong side or the stitched on side. Attach one of the backs to a sleeve. Now you need to keep right sides together. After attaching, you can open it up and it will look like this. Attach the other back to the other sleeve. Again, you want to keep your right sides together. Here's how it looks when we open it up. Hem both sleeves. I usually use a whip stitch for this. Need help with the whip stitch? I have a tutorial for that. There's a link to my whip stitch tutorial in the description below this video on YouTube. Fold the backs down so the sides are together. Stitch from the underarm to the bottom of the shirt. Do this on both sides and again you can hand stitch or use your sewing machine. Hem both closure areas with a double fold hem and use a double fold hem at the bottom of it too, but notice what it says in purple at the top. I used bias tape for this collar, but if you cut a collar from Jersey fabric, you'll want to wait to hem the rest of the shirt until after we're done with the collar. Okay, now for these next images, I'm actually stealing these collar bits from another video tutorial for a Skipper Raglan sleeve t-shirt. But let's start by laying the collar, this is the jersey collar, against the back. Now again, keep your right sides together. Stitch the collar to the shirt along the neckline, keeping right sides together as you go. Stitch from one back piece across the sleeve, the front, the other sleeve, and the other back piece. Now, this is actually a longer sleeve top, so keep that in mind, but the collar concept is the same for both t-shirts. Flip your shirt over to the wrong side and fold the back closure area once and then a second time. And now you're going to fold the collar part once and then a second time like you see me doing in this next clip. So here's our back closure area. We fold it once. We fold it a second time. And then with the collar, you're going to fold it once and a second time. After you fold it the second time, you're ready to start your whip stitch. Whip stitch along the collar, starting at one back, moving across the sleeves all the way to the other side of the neckline, and ending at the other back where you're going to deal with that closure area again, folding once, twice, and then you'll fold the collar once and twice for the double fold hem. Continue to whip stitch along the collar's edge until you come to the very end, and that's when you tie your knot. 
Now you can finish hemming the back closure area and use a double fold hem at the bottom of the shirt too. Invert your garment. That's what I'm doing here. Sew a few snaps down the back. Now you're ready to try it on your doll. Take a bow, Miss Merida. For more free printable sewing patterns to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and free patterns, please share them on your favorite social media platforms. It really helps my website grow if you spread the word. Bye.